Hello, Toya. Look, just say what you want to say. I swear, I never set out to hurt you, Toya. I was angry. It just felt like everyone else is getting on with their lives. And I'm just watching mine go down the toilet. First I get thrown out my flat. Then I get pneumonia because I'm forced to sleep in the streets. And I could feel all this frustration building up inside me. And I just couldn't hold it in any longer. And before I knew what was happening, I totally and utterly lost it. And I just had to lash out on someone, and I don't know why, but it was you. And is that what you call what you did to me? Lashing out? No, I'm not trying to make light of this. But you're trying to make me feel sorry for you. That's what this sob story's all about, innit? I just want you to understand. I swear, I am not looking for an easy way out of this. Good. Because there are thousands of blokes out there who have to cope with much worse than you. And they don't go around forcing themselves on people. I know, I know. And I'll never do it again. Not to you, not to anyone. You can't even say the word, can you? You raped me, Phil. You waited down that ginnel till I got home and then you raped me. That's not the behaviour of someone who's lost it. You knew exactly what you were doing that night. You've already told me why you did it. What? That night at my mum's, when I realised it were you. Remember, you said it was my fault. That I never should have been pals with Dougie Ferguson, so I needed showing. I didn't know what I was saying. I was out of control. This is all because I wouldn't help you scam Dougie Ferguson, innit? No, oh, no, you're wrong. Admit it. You did this to me for the sake of a few hundred quid. Well, why wouldn't you help me, eh? That money could have changed my life around. See, it's okay for you, you cosy little barge up. I've got no me. You're sick. You still blame me for this, don't you? All that stuff you said before were a load of rubbish. Well, just go, will you? Why? Is this not going quite as you'd planned? Well, tough. Because it's about time you faced up to what you did. I thought you'd want to see me dead. No. I want to see you face the consequences of what you did for the rest of your life. Like I've got to. Believe it or not, this, this drove me and all. Oh, so you're the victim now, then? You're pathetic, do you know that? I am so sorry, Taya. So why aren't you pleading guilty, then? See? That's how sorry you are. You'd rather make me out to be a liar than admit you're responsible. But I can't. I don't want to stay in here. I don't care about what you want. This is about you doing the one last decent thing you can. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll do it. I'll plead guilty. Good. Because that means I'll never have to look at you. Or be anywhere near you, ever again. Toya. Do you think you'll ever be able to forgive me? Changing your plea might help you to come to terms with what you've done. But no. I'll never forgive you. <laughs>